Hello, everybody. Um, this is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations. And to anybody that's new, welcome. And I do a little bit of everything on this channel. I'm just going to talk about that for a minute because a lot of people go to channels for one genre, but you're not going to get that here. So if you're looking for a single genre, this is not your place. This is not, this is not your girl for you. And, um, the best thing for you to do is come for what interests you and just be nice and go watch something you would rather watch if I'm doing something you're not interested in. So anyway, enough of that. I have some happy mail the other day. I'm going to go over that first and then um, we'll get into our project. So if you have some air dry clay... I'll tell you what you're going to need. Air dry clay, some tools of some sort, whether they're your hands and a piece of paper. Um, if you don't have air dry clay, maybe just watch today and take notes. I've got some different cookie cutters out, some clay tools, some things to make texture that I'm going to just try, like an old spool piece of a hot pad, that kind of stuff. Um, I had also thought about pulling out some of my embossing folders to add some texture to things, but then I got to thinking maybe they'd be too hard to clean. So I might experiment with that some off camera, but I'll maybe we'll play with it. I don't know. But that's what we're going to do. So welcome in, everybody. Can you hear me? That's always the first thing I ask of the audience. Can you hear me? Because I have trouble. I did not turn my blue snowball on. So I'm, I'm just using the mic that's in the Logitech camera. I got some tea here because I've had a little drainage. Okay, but you used it with Fimo and not the air dry clay. Okay, that's good to know. So let's just go over the the happy it happy uh, happy mail because I told Scott I haven't ordered anything. That package on the porch has to be for Greg. Our son Greg buys from Amazon almost daily, so something comes almost daily. But look, it came in a package package, and I was like, "What is going on?" So I opened it up, and I got a present from Joyce. So Joyce Boring, who you see in the chat, she said, enjoy your gift from Joyce. So I got the little card. And what is in here is, remember, Nanette just sent me that book on all the different Tunisian crochets. It's kind of like an encyclopedia of Tunisian stitches. And I mentioned that if I had the larger the larger hooks, I would make try to make myself a sweater and Joyce was listening and look what she sent me. Thank you, Joyce, you sneaky thing. It's the Tunisian hooks on the long, the long um, plastic cords. Isn't this awesome? Look at all of those. And it included a little nail file. Cause I think they know that when you're crocheting, sometimes your, your nails, I'm not going to take these apart because they are hard to get back in this container. What I might do is make a new container for them. They should have made this just slightly bigger. But thank you so much. I was so tickled. I said, Scott, people are so kind to me. And he's like, that is a sweet gift. So you got a sweet gift out of Scott, too. So thank you, Joyce. That was so lovely. I'm going to put that with the book. It's in the front room where I've been looking at it. And then the other thing, silly me, I ordered this myself and forgot I'd ordered it. It's um, this issue of Somerset Studio. It is volume 28, issue one. Somerset Studio, anything goes February, March, April for 2024. So this is just coming out. And I was just looking at Somerset Studios. You know, you sometimes can get back issues. But when I saw this one, I had to order it. 
And what's inspired me for the project today is in this magazine, but I thought I'd do kind of a flip of this. Uh, in case anybody else might be interested in this Somerset studio. I love the editor's letter. It's always really nice and uplifting. And Nettie just messaged me something. I can't look at it right now. And then they talk about some of their other magazines. And then if you send in mail art, sometimes they'll include your art in their magazine. And that autofocus is driving me to the moon and back. Give me just a sec and we'll get rid of that because... Stop it. There we go. It may not be in focus for a minute. That's pretty good. I'm trying to get where you guys can see it. There we go. But in here, there's a ton of artists sharing their um, their ideas with you. And the artist that I'm going to show you in here that inspired me to do today is um, Gwen Lafleur. And I've put her links down below to her webpage where you can take classes with her her Instagram account, and she has a YouTube channel. So if you guys could go, and she doesn't even have a thousand subscribers over there. So we might want to build her up a bit because when you see the project I want to do as a project over a couple weeks, I love the circus tent made out of a book. That looks so cool. That's for another day though. That's a different artist. I'm just doing a quick flip through because I don't want to get in trouble. All right, here's here's Gwen Lafleur, and I just love this. And I was thinking if we did like four or five inch tiles out of recycled like cardboard or the back of a pad just for our background, we could layer stuff up we have in our stash. And the faces I have. This clay mold of the suns, but if I just filled in just this part, I would have just a face. So that was my idea. This one I might include the rays because it's going to be hard to get just inside there, or I could just cut that away. So there's that. And I also pulled out this one that's got the butterflies and a tiny owl, but I really want the butterflies only really on this one for this time. So those are what I was going to play with. And I have metal pieces. I have ribbon. I have probably the chipboard pieces. Air dry clay play was a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> so here's some more. And on her Instagram. Graham, she shared other ideas too. And I love, see how she's got a piece of fabric that looks like it's been dyed with something and roughed up. And I just love the building of texture. She's added little gems, which I have a whole container of gems. And the body shapes, it looks like she's just cut various shapes of clay and then pressed stuff into it to create the little dress. She's somehow, she's got some little hands, so she must have a mold or maybe she just forms them with the tools. But I thought today we would just make some things in the clay. Here's some more of hers here. And um, because it's going to need time to dry, then next week maybe we could get together and just paint our pieces next week. And then I'm going to go through my um, stash of stuff and pull things together. I'm going to look at my wood pieces. I'm going to see what I have like in burlap. Um, whatever you have that is looks interesting and that can be combined together to create a cohesive piece. And I'm thinking a five inch tile or a five inch piece of something, you know. And of course this magazine, they always give you a couple pages of paper. So there's the circus girl. And there's some quotes on here. This is artist paper they include. And 
the, it's just a ton of ideas. I'll just quickly go through. The, the, this is a big book. I might not share all of it. Let's skip a few pages. And here, these look like the Tim Holtz girls that they've put butterfly wings on. We could do that. That would make some interesting cards, layered cards. Skip a few more page. I haven't read this all the way through yet because I haven't broke the spine all the way back because I stopped at that one idea that grabbed me. Do you ever do that? And then you never get to the rest of the magazine. I like this. It kind of looks like, I don't know, I'll have to read it, but it looks like they kind of just drew in with a, like a dip pen. These are collages actually. So awesome. Beautiful. And then some more of the circus paper is in here. Another interesting um, heart notes. I might read that one because Valentine's is coming up. Love letters from the heart. Oh, these are cool. I like this with where it's kind of black and white with just a pop of red here and there. Very cool looking. Another layered project that I think is awesome. This one even has, it looks like some stitching. It's got some cross stitches on it. That's another thing. I want to go for a walk this weekend down by the river if it's not freezing cold, because down by the river, it's even colder than just walking outside my door. I'd like to pick up some sticks and take the bark off them to do for to use with projects like this, I actually would like to drive down and go to one of the beaches because Charleston's only about an hour and a half from us. We could go down there and um, walk on the beach. Just do another flip back. They did, they put photos inside seashells. So many beautiful, wonderful ideas in Somerset Studio. And I know it's a pricey magazine, but to me, it's more like a book. And I could justify it if I think about it as a book, more paper. So it's looking like the paper you would need to do that circus book that's at the front of this magazine. Looks like they've included them for you. Look at these butterflies. Won't these be front fun in the springtime? Oh, my word. We could draw our own butterflies and do that. And I might learn some of their, look, patterns. Patterns are in here too. Oh, and look, the white on white shadow boxes. Those are cool. Oh, wow. I like that. I could see doing that in black and white with just a hint of red or turquoise. I just love to do that. And there they've done one with neutrals. I like to do things in neutrals too. But then it looks like they came and then they put it all black. Interesting. But I don't want to take all day on here. But some of the papers they've included in here are just amazing. Those flowers are awesome with sticks for stems. And I also got to thinking if you didn't want to make a tile to hang on your wall, I was thinking what if we made a journal page that was like a four or five inch opening. Do you remember when we did the layered page in one of our journals where we used the foam? We could just cut the window out and have the window opening and work inside the window opening. So let's just play with some clay today. <laughs> I got to get a sip. Oh, I saw that too. The man was carrying the shells and um, gave it to the hermit crab. Gave him sh several to choose from. Yeah, it is getting harder for the poor, poor creatures. Well, here we're having problems with coyotes that you don't think are in South Carolina, but they are. And the problem they're having and why they're showing up on city streets is they're taking away all the woods to build more houses. Because supposedly there's a housing shortage. So, yeah. 
got to learn to live with nature. You can't just take all the space. You got to learn to live with it. All right. I sprayed this with a little water earlier because this clay is getting old. So I just sprayed it with a little water, hoping I could get some loose. Oh, that'll get us started. I never like to pull out a ton of it, and I'm just going to set that on there. Let's see if we can make some some of these suns up, sun faces up here. That one will have a gift of cat hair. It's stuck in there. Come on, I don't want the sun to have a, a furry face. I'm just smushing this to get this a little bit softer. Oh, Nettie's phone's not working. Bummer. All right. I just thought it would be nice to make up a bunch of different stuff, let it dry, and then we'll paint it, and then we can just use whatever strikes our fancy. Let's see here. Uh-oh. I don't need that much. I'll make a little ball and then I'll push it down in there. Uh oh. I don't know, with the air dry clay, is it better to just let it set in the mold for a little bit and then pull it out? Or go ahead and pull it? I don't know. I don't use this stuff enough to, to know all the ins and outs. Okay, we'll see you later, Heather. If you guys haven't seen Heather's rice bag, it turned out so good. And I got the little badges. I like that Heather called them badges. Scott thought it was cool, too. The little pins I'm sending to those that made the bags or at least did the fabric prompts with me. I got a few left, but I've got them ready to go to those that told me they had done it. here. I even got some cookie cutters out to, I thought could be cool. Hi, Carol. She's listening while she works. Carol put up some pictures that were pretty cool, too, of the, all these huge bubbles in this lake up there in the frozen Great White North. <sighs> A little bit more. This is getting all... This uh, mat that I'm using is one of those cheap cutting, kind of cutting mats or boards, whatever you want to call them, from the Dollar's Tree. Carol's a working girl now.
She keeps busy now. Met my new nurse practitioner yesterday, and she seems real nice. Having trouble getting one of the medicines that she wants wants me on, and uh, having trouble getting getting that one. So I was just on the phone trying to get that squared because we're trying to do mail order because it's actually cheaper. Let's just see what happens here. Can I get it to come out without distorting the face? I think you have to let these dry in here a bit. That's okay. I don't know what they're going to look like. You may need to make some more doll faces. I like to have them. I have some air dried or clay things already made up. I think they're over there, but I don't know if there's any faces in them. I guess I should have looked there before doing this, but I figured this would be a starting point, you know, for everybody else. Wow, two feet thick. The dogs sure look like they were having a blast. Have y'all seen the one where the girl stamped her foot on the pond and the, the husky starts jumping way up in the air? That one makes me laugh. All right, I'm going to put that down in there. I probably should have sprayed this with something, but I don't have any of that spray. I don't know if this will work or not, but we'll see. I'm going to grab what I have over here. Somewhere here. Oh, cool. Well, maybe I don't have them right where I can find them. I got the fairy doors my sister made me out of clay. I need to paint those. Huh. I could have swore I just saw them. Just the other day. No, it's bottles. Well, if I come across them before next week, I'll have them out to paint too. Because if I get them painted, then I can use them. That is so strange. So strange. Okay, never mind. I know I have some somewhere. Yeah, I think you have to let it dry. Can you hasten it up a bit with the heat gun? I'm going to try. Worst I'll do is mess them up. It's just Crayola dry clay. about having my table in the middle of the room. I have no plugs right there. Just kind of pulling at it and probably distorting the face. I'm just I'm just trying. Oh gosh. 
quick. Stand on one foot. Yeah, it's sticking. <laughs> well, I ruined that one. What are you supposed to spray these with? Because I threw the instructions away a long time ago. Or do you just let it dry and then it'll pop out? Can I put that back in there? I might have to just leave them dry in here. Quit being impatient. Oh, I've got to finish the uh, crochet along from last year because it was a mandala um, afghan. These butterflies don't take much at all. Let it dry and it'll pop right out. Okay. I'll leave it in there. I'll just leave these in there and then Becky will be patient. Trying. <laughs> I want to see their cute little faces. That one's probably not going to be cute at all. And I'll trim the excess off with scissors. I'll post a picture when after I've pulled them. We'll give it a couple days and I'll pull them. We have an orange stray cat, and he was in our backyard when I let the dog out, and he went tearing into the bushes, and I'm like, she can't see you. She can't hear you either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, this is a nest of with eggs in it. I was wondering, what is that? All right. So, we'll just leave those to dry. Now let's roll some out and play with it in that way if we can. I'll get a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to have to just be patient. This little clay rolling pin. It's just a tube of plastic. All right. I was trying to think, what do I have that I could, you know, press down in this and get some texture? I have this thing here. Let's do this first. What is, oh. That's so funny that gold popped out of it. That's gold paint holding the, the cell shape. Isn't that cool looking? I wonder, can we press that down in there and have it come loose a little bit? And then remember her body shapes on the dolly thing. Oh, look at that. It did do some of the gold. Let it dry, Becky. Let it dry. And then I was just thinking, cut my own little body shape. sitting here worrying about whether this is going to make me waste some of this. And this stuff doesn't cost all that much. So why am I worried about that? Right? Just use it. You'll never know unless you play. I mean, I got a whole tub of it that's like ancient years old.
pretty thin in the middle. Oh, come on. All right, let me get some wax paper in one of my trays. Basically, I just want to make some components that I can make a, a piece with. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm clearing my throat so much. <clears throat> I told Scott we need to drink orange juice because we were just in a doctor's office with a bunch of sick people barking around us. All right. So I'm just going to put them on one of these trays I get at the thrift store. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. I'm going to leave those chunks of paint in it just like that. And we'll let it dry. I'm always amazed at how hard this stuff gets once it's dry. All right. So that's kind of a body shape there. So let's see if we can do a couple more. Let's see. I'll set this on top of the trash can. Hopefully nobody walks by and, you know, makes it hit the floor. I was kind of hoping this mat would be uh, not so grabby. <laughs> I need to cover this back up, too. Right, some more water. Oh, cool. Carol's doing some um, spun cotton dolls. <clears throat> no, I didn't, Kathy. Barbara's got to go check her instructions. I didn't put anything in them. That's why I'm kind of worried whether they'll come out at all. I guess I'll find out. And I bought these little hands because of Barb Owen. And I thought, I don't want to use that great big one, but those two could be fun. Cut some little hands out. I wonder if I can get them loose from this. I don't know. It's got some of that where I just made that texture in that other. It's got uh, paint in it. try something it may be wrong but put a little water down see if I can cut these without them I would say that's a no
Oh, I pulled his middle finger off. <laughs> Maybe he's doing peace, man. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work. Um, what can I do? Another piece of wax paper, maybe? I have some more simple shapes. Just set that over on the wax paper. Maybe we'll draw some texture into some basic shapes. I got that one, and this is supposed to be a seashell. How about some leaves? I'm beginning to think a piece of wax paper would be better than this. Maybe put some It's been a while since I played with any kind of clay. It's a little texture to that. You can see it, I guess. The little texture I put in it. Hi, Violet. All right. Let me go grab another piece of wax paper because it seems easier to pick it up. Set that in my chair and hope that Mr. H-O-W-I-E doesn't jump in it and put everything everywhere.
And I was thinking maybe freeform some, some things. Like I've done like little sticks and things as well. That mat didn't work out so well. Uh, maybe we'll roll this out and make a spiral. That would be cool. Well, the wax paper moves around. That's the bad part about it. All right, let's chop this here. And it needs to be slightly thinner. I was thinking just spiral it around. So if, even if you don't have cookie cutters or molds, you can do, <coughs> do stuff with air dry clay. Sorry. Sorry. Pick that up. Let that dry. Little spiral. Let's do another one. Get them out and play with them, Violet. Start today. So I'm going to roll this up. Oh, I'm not going to worry that that cracked. It is paper clay. It's going to crack, I think. Maybe bring the tail instead of trying to make the, the piece work on its own here. Greg's up. It sounds like he overdid at the gym. Little spirals. I just want to have a bunch of different little things to, uh, you know, use on something like that, like mixed media project. Let's see if I can get a hand out of this. Maybe the next size up. Not this one, but this one. I don't know. Probably don't have enough clay here now. I just love these little hands. So glad Barb shared them that day. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get those. So Barb is an enabler. Maybe I will just do this one. Uh-oh. Let's do this. Let's pull this away on the outside. Maybe then I won't pull his fingers off, I hope. I'll get in there with something more pointy. Let's try this here. Pull this out. Oops. Whoops. <sighs> All right, 
right, let's see if we can get a hand out of here. Oh, man. Am I going to have to let it dry in there? So I don't pull his fingers off? This stuff is temperamental. Uh, let's see. What do I got? Oh, uh, that's putting a, a thingamabob in here. His fingers are. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Up, oh, I pulled his middle tip of his middle finger off again. Doggone it. Ah. Kind of looks like he's got a huge thumbnail or an injury on his pinky. These tools help you smooth things out if you can find the right one. Well, it's still a little hand. It's a, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little wonky. Hi, Sophia. Your work assignment ends soon. All right, let's see if I can make a real mess and make a big hand. Oh. I got to get this clay used up. Hi, Janet. Hugs. Mark with the cutter and then trace around it. I don't know. It could. I'm going to set these two over. I'm just going to leave them to dry on the tray. I have the trays so I can put them on top of stuff so the cats can't like wipe me out. Hi, Marguerite. British Columbia, Canada. Lurking, lurking, lurking. Rawhide. <laughs> I'm just playing with paper clay today. Nothing magical or anything, but I'm trying to make comp comp components for a project. I almost need like two paint sticks to get this an even thickness. You know, put a paint stick on either side. That would probably help. I'll swipe some next time we are in Lowe's. We've bought enough paint between Lowe's and Home Depot. They should just give us a lifetime supply of paint sticks. All right, let's see. Maybe a little thinner. And then I was thinking, I've got this thing. It's well-loved. 
it gets used on my prompt games and all kinds of stuff. Pull that off on there. Let's see if I can get a hand. And then up here, maybe get a body shape, roughly cut. That's a, that'd be a cool body shape, wouldn't it? Like that. Add that to our pile down here. Let's see if I can get the hand print out. Where's that pokey thing? Let's get this out of here. Oh, Becky. I poked inside. I'm not going to worry about it. I looked up at the clock and wasn't paying attention. Just trying different techniques. See if I can get the fingers out without putting a hole in them or stretching them so he looks like Stretch Armstrong. All right. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Another little hand with some texture on it. I think I'm just going to cut some body shape. Hi, Dar. Hi, Mina. Or maybe just some basic shapes.
Oh, look, I cut through the wax paper there a little bit. I don't think I'm going to mess with any more of those hands right now. <laughs> Once I can get my fingers in, I'm doing a little better. There we go. It's a little star shape. Just creating my own thingamabobs here. Guess I'll have to take these outside, clean them up. Yep, paper clay to make some ephemera for some projects. So I've done some in molds and I'm leaving them to just dry and see if I can get them out once they're dry. And then I've done some that are shaped and this one's got paint in it, so it's okay. And then just handmade pieces. And then tried to use some the hand cookie cutters and poor things. They've seen better days. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I don't have any of those though. It's kind of looking like I need all the help I can get though. That'd be nice to have a little way to you know, push this stuff out. I do have a, a pasta maker, but I usually use it with Sculpey. have to put these in a bucket and take them outside clean them outside so I don't get stuff in the drains sorry I 
that's not too bad. Got my thumb a little bit on it. I'll look at chat here in just a sec. Good enough. These I'm thinking, how fun would it be once they're dry, maybe paint them white and then just cover the whole thing with a napkin. I'd like a couple more of those butterflies, I think. I just have to sew in the ends on the mixed yarn afghan I've been working on. And it'll be ready to go to its new life. I wonder if I can get another one out of just this here. Really am trying to focus on using what I have here and get some things used up and made into things that can be used to make finished products instead of just having a bunch of raw ingredients. Does that make sense? Let's see. Scott doesn't have class tonight. And Greg had a rotisserie chicken in there and I threw it in a pot with some water and cooked it off the bone. And then I pulled all the meat off, put it back in the pot with whatever liquid was in there with the water that I put on. And then I added a can of cream of mushroom soup. And I've got that all ready to go. And then I'm going to make some rice to just put that mixture over top of. And that some vegetables. That'll be dinner. Oh, come on. Doing this seems to help. That just getting it back out of here. You can get these uh, butterfly cooker, cookie cutters right now because they're in the Easter crafting stuff at like Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, Michael's. There's another butterfly. I am loving the idea of just covering them with a napkin. But I do want to do a couple more body shapes, too. I wasn't up to a regular chicken pot pie today, so it's going to not have a crust. It's going to be over rice. Yeah, if we could just make more things. <laughs> I need to uh, get with my two sisters down here because Robin's birthday is next month on the 9th. And she'll be turning 55 and I'll turn 60 in March. So we decided we needed to do something substantial since we're reaching the senior citizen ages. I need to send out a group email and say, what are we going to do? We're not, we haven't gone out to dinner or nothing in months. Over the holidays, they're so busy, you know, with their own activities and friends. I told them I'm available all the time. 
I don't have any local friends that I meet up with and go to lunch with and that kind of thing. I just don't. All right. Let's. I really like this here. I'm just going to press that in a little bit. Actually, let's just cut around this because this is kind of a cool shape for a body, isn't it? And I'll just cut around. Maybe smooth this off with this here. All right, so we'll peel this up. It didn't go in as deep as I had with that other one. That's okay. It doesn't have to. Just smoothing out the bumps. Trying not to put my fingerprints all in the top of it. Nope, not funky clay. Talking about dinner. Talking about dinner. And Scott's almost done with this session of classes, and they've asked him to teach another class starting in February. So that's nice extra money that we hadn't planned on, so... That'll be good. All right. I don't know if I like that shape, but we're going to go with it, maybe. It almost feels like this side needs to be more round, more goddess-like. Let's, let's just round this off a little bit. I'm going to leave it before I mess it up. Oh, I kind of like it this way. Put the head up here. All right. I'm going to leave it alone. She says as she's pressing on it over here. Anyway. <laughs> Isn't it? I thought it looked gorgeous. She did a great job. We'll do another sewing project later. I'm trying to rotate so I don't, you know, because somebody asked me, is all you ever do sewing on your channel? And it's like, no, my channel has all kinds of stuff on it. Um. 
you. I'm trying to look at all of these different tools I have. So you guys pull out your clay and get some things made. Next week we'll get together and we'll just put some color on them of some sort. I usually like to um, paint the whole thing black and then dry brush. You know, get the black down into any of your little things, your little marks and things. And then when you dry brush, the dry brushing will stay on the surface. And... It'll look cool. It looks cool. I might color some of these with color shift paint. I think I still have some if it hasn't dried up. That's another thing. I've got to use this stuff because I'm, I'm losing it. Losing it? Losing it to uh, just drying up. If you, don't, if you don't use it, it dries up, and then what's the point of having it? So use your stuff. And that one I just put some little, little marks in. All right. Devin Rex will be on shortly doing gel plate printing at 2.30. And then at 3 o'clock, Shannon Art Junkie comes on. And I think that's all that's coming on today. I don't know. Does anybody do Wednesday evenings? I'm going to cover this better. Push that plastic down in next to the stuff, maybe. Let's do something with this little piece, and then I'll go. Yeah. Oh. So she'll be on it at three. Yeah, she comes on the same time Shannon does. And I've been Shannon's only uh, mod for a long time. If another mod is there, I might pop over to, to Susan's today. Because let me tell you, I really enjoyed y'all's panel that you did last night with the Q&A. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. If you guys missed it, go to Susan Taylor Brown. They, Barbara was on there and so was... Um, Sandy Moore and a couple of the other ladies I didn't recognize, but I need to go find their channels. I need to go and see if Susan put their channels on her description box because I'd like to subscribe to them. I'm in Susan's group on Facebook, but I don't get over there as often as I'd like. I can't I'm trying not to overcommit myself to all the different things all at once. I'm trying to self-edit so I don't overwhelm myself and end up doing nothing because I can't decide which which project I want to do first. So we got a nice smooth kind of thing, circle-y thing here.
I don't know what I'm doing. Just playing. Basically, I'm just playing. This has no meaning. <laughs> just playing to see what the tools do. That looks pretty cool when you do it on the side. Looks like seeds. Guys, I'm going to let you go now. Any questions? You'll be at Shannon's. Okay, I'll go back and check. I'm just going to keep that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if it's going to become something else or just might go in the trash who knows so here we go this is what I did I love my funky trays I pick up at the thrift store anyway <laughs> my gnarly old hands maybe these will have a story of their own the hands and uh yeah we'll play with these again next week and I will talk to you guys later take care bye